Okay, so my phone is one year old. There is no sign of any update from the manufacturer. I'm running a very old version of Android and I want a new one. So where will I look at? The custom rooms. So my name is Shivam and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna explain you briefly about the custom room and the custom kernel. So the before installing any custom room, there are two main components. One is unlocking the bootloader and second is installing the custom recovery. So what is a bootloader and uh, what does it mean to unlock the bootloader? Like uh, whenever you install a freshly install a new windows, you are asked to uh, create an administrator account. So an administrator account has access to all the things, all the system files, control panels and every stuff. So uh, when a manufacturer locks the bootloader, you are not the administrator user of the phone. And for installing any custom room, you require that. And just unlocking the bootloader, you get the administrator access uh, and also the root access, which is very necessary for installing the custom room. So that what unlocking the bootloader do. Next is the installing the custom recovery. So every phone uh, comes pre-installed with a recovery of its own, which is a very basic recovery. It do stuff like uh, formatting the phone and uh, installing the default settings, factory reset kind of stuff and uh, also uh, you can install the updates give, uh, given by the manufacturer just that and it's a very basic recovery you can do very minimal stuff with that custom recovery on the other hand are the advanced version of the recovery two very popular custom recoveries are CWM and the TWRP CWM is the clockwork mode and the TWRP is the team in recovery project and they are quite popular recovery uh, custom recoveries so in custom recovery you can do a lot of stuff first of all the, the custom recovery is required for installing any custom room so it serves that purpose. Uh, second, you can do a backup and restore, which is also a very great feature. And yeah, there are many other things you can do with the custom recovery. They they are like uh, you know, TWRPs are touch enabled custom recovery. So custom recoveries are much better version of the recovery. So because you, you you require them for installing any custom room. Next, we come to the custom room. Custom room are the operating system which completely replaces the current operating system of your phone. If you are bored and you don't and you want to run on the latest latest version of Android, you will look for a custom room because the custom rooms provide that. And uh, if you want to look for the custom rooms for your phone, just uh, Google uh, the name of your phone and the XDA thread, or you can search for the custom room. There are lots and lots of types of custom room right now. There is uh, uh, Lineage OS, which came after the shutdown of the very popular Cyanogen mode. And there is Dirty Unicorns, there are Slim Room, etc. And lots of rooms are out there. So you can look out uh, the rooms, which are there are official and unofficial builds of the room. So you can look out for that if you have got any official build. In the official build, you will get the regular updates. So always look out for the official rooms. And uh, yeah, you can also try the unofficial room if you are very keen to know how it looks on your phone and how it performs so custom rooms are the operating system of your phone which completely replaces the uh, current operating system and it gives a hell lots of feature like you can uh, change all the icons the battery icon the network icon you can uh, put reposition the time you can do a lot and lot of tweaking on the phone with the custom which the uh, manufacturer rom doesn't provide so that is the best part of the custom room so uh, that was about the custom room next i want to tell you about the kernel kernel is like a very very important thing for every phone for Andro android uh, users we use the linux kernel and kernel are like an intermediary between the software and the hardware of the phone so they, they, these are certain codes which connect the software and the hardware of the phone so uh, for any uh, custom for any uh, for any uh, developer to make the custom kernel it is very necessary that the company the manufacturer re releases the original kernel of the phone because that's only we can tweak it and we can release a custom kernel so what a custom kernel will do custom kernel can increase the battery performance of your phone it can uh, increase the charging it can uh, increase the performance it, you can overclock the cpu and there are many many stuff related to hardware we can, you can do with the kernel so uh, installing a kernel will be a, always a great thing on your over over the custom room if you install a custom room and you want you want to tweak more things you want to get better performance get a better life you'll go with the custom kernel so uh, that was i briefly explained the custom room the custom kernels and bootloader and the custom recovery if you like my video, 
uh, give it a thumbs up if there is any doubt there is any question you want to ask me you can ask me in the comments down below i will always always be there to help you so thanks for watching.